I'm Clark Atkins. I'm a cardiologist from North Carolina State University in the United States. And I'm going to be speaking with you today about the standards of care in the management of canine heart disease. This three-part seminar is sponsored by Siva Sante Anamale. In our first session, we're going to talk briefly about the pathophysiology of heart failure and the mechanisms by which cardiac drugs can be used to manage these signs. We will use those drugs which have had governmental approval for use in the treatment of cardiac disease in Europe. As you can see from the slide before you, that whether you have volume overload, as we see with mitral valvular disease, pressure overload, as we see with hypertension or heart room disease, myocardial failure, as we see with dilated cardiomyopathy, or diastolic failure, as we see with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in the cat, that the fall in cardiac output evokes the same response from the body. And while this may be beneficial on the short term, it becomes harmful on the long term. I've noted these for you with red shading in this slide, and you can see that the fall in cardiac output causes activation of both the sympathetic nervous system and the renin, angiotensin, aldosterone systems. This then leads to baroreceptor dysfunction, which we can treat pharmacologically, but on a beneficial way, we see an increase in heart rate, a positive inotropic effect, fluid retention, and vasoconstriction, all of which can maintain blood pressure when it falls acutely and needs a rapid response. However, you can see that if this is maintained chronically, it takes a toll on the patient. And this increase in heart rate ultimately increases myocardial oxygen needs, the vasoconstriction increases afterload, the retention of fluid results in congestion, and activation of both the sympathetic nervous system and the RAS system can cause cell death within the myocardium. These changes then cause a further fall in cardiac output and the syndrome we know as congestive heart failure. In this slide, you see the drugs and procedures which might be used to treat the underlying causes of a fall in cardiac output, such as volume overload states, i.e. mitral insufficiency, and myocardial failure, i.e. dilated cardiomyopathy. So vasodilators, ACE inhibitors, diuretics, and surgical correction might be used to treat mitral insufficiency in the dog. For dilated cardiomyopathy, we rely, we rely upon inotropic agents such as pemobendin and digoxin. To blunt the sympathetic nervous system and RAS systems, we use beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, and spironolactone. For the changes that have occurred in the baroreceptors, this can be modified by using digoxin, ACE inhibitors, and spironolactone. For the very specific finding of vasoconstriction, which occurs with RAS activation, vasodilators can also be used. Finally, to slow heart rate, beta blockers, digoxin are oftentimes used, and, and lastly, for fluid retention that occurs with a fall in cardiac output and heart failure, diuretics can be used. 